what's up YouTube? In this episode of Chad Williams Fixes All, we're going to be placing the fog light on this 2012 Chevy Cruze. Let's get to it. So the first steps to changing this uh, fog light is to get the car uh, up a little bit. I'm going to use my ramps to uh, drive up onto, but you can also use a jack and jack stamps. But uh, I just need to get underneath the car, so I'm just going to raise it up a little bit. So, so I'm going to go ahead and get this up on my ramps and we'll uh, get underneath there. Now with the car up and off the ground, we can go ahead and slide underneath and I'll show you what you have to do to gain access to this. So right here, you're gonna have a bolt right there. And then you might need to undo this clip right here. Mine's actually already missing, so I'm gonna be replacing that. But I don't think you'll need to get to uh, this bolt here in front. I think it's just gonna be those two, that one right here and then that one right there. It'll allow you to bend this back and we can gain access up in here to that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So with our T20 here, we're going to go ahead and undo that. And there we go. That should give us enough room to get up in there. I'll go ahead and zip tie this back so that we can see a little better. Now with that zip tied back, we can go up in here. And you can see that. So you can see that cable right there going to the fog light. We just need to unplug that. There's two little like clips on each side of that that need to come off. Uh, and then we can un then we can uh, take that out. So let's go and see if we can do that. There we go. There's that clip. You can see how there's this one on each side of there. So now that's undone. Let's see if we can spin this out now. You just gotta turn to the left. It usually comes out. And there we go. There is the old bulb. It was in there like this, and I just spun up like that, and it then popped out. Let's go ahead and get our new bulb so we can install it. So this is our new bulb here. It's a Phillips H8. I just went with the standard equipment because I'm not changing the other one, so I want it to be the exact same. But yeah, it's going to be the exact same, and we can go ahead and just put that in there, spin to the left, or spin to the right, and we should be able to have a fog light again. So let's go ahead and reinstall that. Now when handling these bulbs, you don't want to ever touch the uh, glass because it will give them a premature life. So always make sure to touch just the plastic area. So there's the new bulb. So let's go ahead and venture on the car and put that in there. Now with us back under the car, we can go ahead and put the bulb back in there. All right, I got the headlight just set in place there. And now I'm gonna spin it to the right, so downwards. And that's gonna lock it in place. Now that it's locked in place, and you can see there that the, uh, you see that the plug is pointing downwards. Now we can just go ahead and put the plug back in. There you go, you heard it. You heard it snap in there. Now that it's plugged in, let's go ahead and test to make sure it works. There we go, both fog lights are now working. We are back to normal. So if this video helped you out at all, make sure to click a like on the video, subscribe to my channel, also, check out the links in the description below to uh, get the part for yourself. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys next time.